Alternative Radio. I are talking about support. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. and I talk about practical life tips of what you could do on a daily basis to maintain your inner peace and happiness. And today we're going to be talking about support. So uh, for our video viewers, it looks like Missy is back outside and I have gone inside. We're swapping. (laughs) <laughs> yeah so good weather down there for you i guess yeah it's uh it's really nice not very humid and it's probably it's probably about 75 so it could be a little cooler but you know it's just it's comfortable how about yourself nice yeah no i it's actually nice if i was out doing something but uh sitting with a slight breeze and all puts uh quite a chill on things yeah yeah so <laughs> Bit nippy. Thought it'd be a little, a little more comfortable here, but I definitely prefer the outside if you know, given the right conditions. But as we're talking about support, I, I'll say the the weather is not being very supportive <laughs> of my desires at the moment. To be outside, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we at least talking- just sitting down and talking. Right, right, right. Well, so we were talking about you know, um, like in the last week or so, I've had a lot of different examples of how support has come to me, you know, family, friends. um, And I just thought it was kind of imperative because to talk about this, because I used to have this belief that, you know, my family didn't support me. My friends didn't support me. Like nobody really believed in me. And, you know, it was really a whole like worthiness thing on my end. Mm. Um, But now that I've overcome that, gosh, I see it all the time. And I guess I kind of wanted to share with our viewers, like, you know, what that looks like, um, what that could look like, and and maybe open up the possibilities for them to see things differently in in their space. So what do you define support as? Ooh. um, Yeah. Because that that was the first thought, as you were just sharing that, the first thought that clicked into my head was so... What exactly do you mean by that? Well, you know, okay, so I'm gonna maybe I'll go a little far fetched here, but it's really kind of like an illusionary thing, right? You know, like it's like whatever your belief is 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 kind of how you see support, and so I guess in my own illusionary uh, view of it is, you know. Um, kind of people like cheering you on to, to be happy for you, to be excited for you, to share your excitement for what you're doing. Um, and so like, I'm an entrepreneur or, uh, you know, a book writer, um, I'm a coach, I do things like that. And so like, it thrills me when I see my family sharing my podcasts or sharing the work that I'm doing in marketing or, or things like that. And And it's not only come across in social media or verbally, they're sharing it with other people, but recently it's come across in, you know, um, really they're kind of uh, conversations of like their, their belief in what I'm doing, you know, Mm -hmm. they're, they're, you know, uh, supportive in where, what they see my vision as you know like and and don't get me wrong sometimes we definitely agree to disagree but that doesn't mean that that they don't support me you know like uh there are certain maybe ways of thinking that not everybody i have in my family or friend circle um agrees with but they still support me and what i'm doing and where i'm going in my life's journey right and so they support me and really being me like who i was created to be So I think that's Mm -hmm. pretty much what support looks like in my eyes. Okay. How about you? I I would say in a very similar way. I I 
not surprisingly, we'd be on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, you know, what are we talking about? Um, but I also want to make sure that anybody listening knows, you know, where, where we're coming from on this. And, and, and I would agree that, you know, it, it's all about, um, you know, kind of a, a joining, um, you know, on a mental, emotional level. Mm. Yeah. That, um, you know, it's, it's not just sharing in what another is doing or, as you say, you know, the that journey that a person is taking. But what about the um, joined sharing of, I guess, one to the other, each other, something like that? Kind of like loving, loving somebody where they're at, right? You know, and, and, and I, I say that because, like, support could look like so many things of, you know, like, oh, I've got, you know, like, let's say I'm in a different place than I am right now. Like I have people that I, I know of who have maybe been um, on a drug addiction path. Right. And, you know, not necessarily supportive of their actions, but supportive of letting them walk the walk of where they're walking until they get to the point where they're ready to make the move for themselves because that's really what it is always is it's us making the move for ourselves and being loved in the process. Like, you know, we, we, we don't always make the best or right decisions. I can attest to myself, you know, having made some decisions that I thought were good at the time, but I look back and I mm -hmm. kind of go, well, I'm sure it all worked out perfectly, obviously, but at the same time, sometimes things took me a little longer than I wanted to. And, and I know that the people that were in my circle were going, she's going to get it. I know she's going to get it. Right. <laughs> and, um, but they didn't force their opinions on me. They didn't, um, they didn't, you know, shove them down my throat for lack or lack of better terms. You know, they just loved me for where I was and what I was going through. And, you know, and, um, that's so incredible. It's such an incredible mm -hmm feeling to love people where they're at not only for the the receiver but for the giver as well well because it becomes very freeing uh for the giver because you don't have to try to do any mental maneuvering to figure out the shoulds yeah you know what you should and shouldn't do uh, you don't have to do any mental maneuvering of, you know, what's right, wrong in this, what are they, you know, wanting, you know, this and that. You, you just kind of be yourself in the space of meeting the other person where hopefully they're being themselves. Yeah. And then this way, it's just individuals in their present moments join together in, in, that present really and and that's like incredibly peaceful right you know we're not shitting mm -hmm. on them they're not they're not we're not shitting on us for them right yep. and, and we have the ability to just just be with them and i think that that's again that's another version of support is just just mm -hmm. being yep no you're you are present meeting them where they are mm -hmm. not where you would like them to be or if you don't fully believe in what they're doing but you can still support them as them where they are yeah um yeah i think those are all important uh pieces you know for the giver yeah you know to to understand that we're we're just joining the present moment and that's the peacefulness because we're not trying to make something that it's not. Mm. Um, and I think it's, it's also that freedom because then I can do what I feel naturally, authentically, what it is that I would do. Well, so, so to transition just a little bit, I think that, um, you know, and of course I will only refer to my own experience, but you know, previously in my life, I used to think that I didn't have the support like that, right? Because I believed that, 
it was, you know, well, they should be sharing my stuff. They should be telling people about my stuff. They should be, sorry, there's a truck going by. <laughs> you know, they, they, they should be, um, you know, uplifting me more, putting me out there. And, you know, and there's actually, there's a, there's a TikTok video and it's like, how come, how come you're not famous yet? It says, and, and the guy goes, how come you didn't share my stuff? he says the foul word, but <laughs> how come you didn't share my stuff? Right. And, you know, and that's really where I was like, that's where I was like, well, if I'm an author, why are you not sharing my book? And I'm a life coach. Why are you not sharing my, my blog posts, my podcasts? Why are you not doing this? Like, I, I don't understand, but that was like, at that point, that was my version of what support looked like, right. Mentally. That was my belief that, well, they don't love me and they don't care about me and they're not supporting me. And, you know, that's not how it has to look, first of all. But second of all, since my, my vision of what support looks like has changed, uh, I noticed that my family and friends are doing those things. Like, it's really crazy. Like, as soon as I let go of that being the way it should be, right? And I use quotations around that. But as soon as I let that go, it was like, wow, you know, and like, you know, new coaching clients are coming in and, and people are sharing my book and people are asking me about my book and, and, you know, my parents are sharing my podcast and listening to my podcast and talking to me about things like that. And it's like, mm -hmm. wow, they are really just very loving and supportive and, and accepting me for where I'm at. And it really is based on me. It's based on my decision and my beliefs, not on what they're doing but what I know is accessible to me. Which I think brings up then the viewpoint of the person receiving the support. Mm. And the, the first word that really comes to mind is expectations. Yeah. That, you know, what, what are our expectations as to what support would look like? What, what does support mean? And, and that's one of the reasons, you know, I asked, so well, what's the definition, you, you know, because you, if we don't know what we're working with, you know, internally, because we're, we're always judging those expectations that I have. So mm. based on my definition of support, I'm going to have certain expectations. And if those expectations aren't met, then I'm going to equate that as, well, you don't support me. Right. And all of that is going to create stress and anxiety and, and all, a whole bunch of other feelings, you know, depending on who this person, you know, is to you in, in your life. But all of that just went down a path that has nothing to do with nothing because right. your expectation may not be their expectation of the giving of support. And just because they didn't meet your expectation doesn't necessarily mean they weren't giving support. It just didn't meet your expectation of, of what, you know, you wanted that support to be, but they may have been giving support in the way that they define support and understand support or in their present moment are able to give support or not. Yeah. So two things come to mind as you're speaking about that. So one would be, if you don't know what support looks like to you, maybe what might be helpful is, I'm not sure if anybody has heard of, I'm probably sure everybody has heard of, at least in my mind, the uh, five languages of love, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe go take that quiz and see what your love language is to see how you would then receive that love support, what that might look like for you. That could be helpful. Second what are you saying to yourself? Like your awareness about what you're saying to yourself. Cause I mean, we, I, I wouldn't, I'll say we, but I, I hear a lot that, you know, like, well, nobody does this for me. Well, I'm all alone. Well, it's just me. And mm -hmm. you know, like, it's the, like, there's a, a certain mentality of, um, I gotta do it all by myself. I have to do it all by myself. There's no one here for me. No one listens, you know, wh whatever that mentality is that, you know, and I, I can say that at one point I had that mentality. I can definitely speak on having had that, that type of outlook on life, but things change when you start to look at it a different way, you know, and they won't change until you start to open up that, 
you know, I call it, I call it the pinprick in the black hole, right? It's like, mm -hmm. you know, the light shines in, the bigger that hole gets. But if you're not willing to open the pinprick and look to see if there's something more than just that darkness, then you're not going to walk through and find any light. So like it, be open to different ways of looking at it. And, um, you know, we said this last week in last week's podcast, but dispel the myths, dispel the illusions mm -hmm. that you have for yourself, because it will make you so much happier and, and see so many greater things in your, in your world. And, and I think it's important to discuss that with whomever you were seeking that support mm. to try to figure out, you know, is it just a expectation issue? Is it a true lack of support? I mean, there, there might just be some people who just don't care about supporting you or want to support you or whatever it may be. Um, so it, it just may simply be, you know, I'm, I'm indifferent to what you're doing. So whatever. Right. But at least we would know, because I, I think in most cases, what it is, is when we feel then that we're not supported, that in reality, what it is, is our expectation is not being met. And that doesn't mean our expectation is wrong. It just means it's not being met. You know, and, and it doesn't mean that the person not meeting it there's an issue with that. It's just, they're not meeting it, you, you know? So I, I think that important piece of taking out right and wrong and just understanding that this is just how it is. So I want to take that and I want to expand on it also because you have, that could be triggering to us. Right. And, mm -hmm. and when that's triggering that to me is, uh, you know, one of the, the four pillars that I go by in my life, we have guilt for having done it to other people, right? We, we project it because we don't want the guilt. We project it on other people doing it back to us, which is the mirroring. And then mm -hmm. we can recognize that there's work and forgiveness in ourselves that need to be done so that we recognize one, we don't want to do it Two, find a way to go help other people. How can you be supportive of what everybody else is going through? Because again, to me, that that's giving is receiving, right? And mm -hmm. so when you're going out and showing support, you know, like I've had people that are, I mean, like just thriving in my life right now, all around me and, you know, like business or real estate and, you know, all kinds of cool things that are happening. And I'm like, that's awesome. Like, that is wonderful. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you, you know, and not only am I cheering them on and uplifting their process and listening for whatever it is, but that's the support I'm looking for. I'm looking for people to cheer me on when I'm on my next level. And I'm looking for people to be supportive uh, and listen and, and hear me. Right. And, and love me where I'm at. And mm -hmm. so the only way I can do that and, and, I don't want to say like the law of karma, but really, you know, it's, it's the, it will come back to you. It always comes back to you. And that may be a way for you to find support, you know, not doing it because you're, you know, you're going to get it because you are no matter what, but still doing it because then you'll see what it looks like as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I, I think when we look for that support, part of it too, is trying to figure out whose support matters mm. so if we go back to what you were saying earlier when your family can share some of your posts or your podcasts and you know th they can show that support that's one thing you know that then you got the list of followers you know that that are on social media who um some may share it, some may just like it, some are just watching it without putting any, you know, thing on there. So who really matters? Right. You know, and, and I think sometimes in, in today's world, we're, we're skewing this idea of support because of the social media. Oh, yeah. Where the support comes down to not the person who's supporting me, but the numbers, Right. So, you know, if, if that number is high, I feel validated in what I'm doing. Mm. But That's yet it. the people closest to me, 
you know, like they're not liking it or sharing it, you, you know, so am I taking the time to speak with them to find out, you know, you're the closest. Well, why aren't you doing this? Right. You know, like, well, what is your support? Because I've got like a million other people who are clicking like and half a million sharing it. And, you know, yet the people closest to me are just sitting on it. You know, and I heard somewhere something to the effect of like, uh, you shouldn't expect, which I, I kind of, I'm going to have to call BS. Thanks for using both words uh, right, together right. in a very <laughs> but, <laughs> unhealthy. <laughs> right. So you, you shouldn't expect that the people that are closest to you will share or support you because, um, you know, they see you as something different. So like, let's say for, for me, for instance, you know, I've been, I've been the little girl, the daughter, the little sister, you know, and then all of a sudden I became a life coach and, you know, my family sees me still as the little sister or the daughter, mm -hmm. or, you know, like, so it's not that they see me as the life coach, right. Which I do. I, like I said, I'm calling BS on this because they're my greatest supporters. They're my best supporters. They're, you know, I know that I don't hear them, right? Is what I'm saying is like, my mom's not gonna tell me about how I'm becoming a life coach and how great it is and how wonderful and you should read my daughter's stuff and because she's telling it to other people, sitting in the doctor's office, sharing it with her girlfriend, mm -hmm. noticing somebody having a bad day on Facebook. Go check out Missy's stuff, go look at her podcast. Like, I know that she's doing those kind of things but she's not doing it to me. Why would she do it to me? That doesn't make sense. Right. You know, same with my sisters, you know, like they, you know, we, we love each other. We talk to each other constantly, you know, and my, like, she'll share with me, Oh, I was telling somebody this, blah, 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 blah. I told her that you told me, right. You know, which is really cool because it's coming back to me to know that I got to pass that information on. And my sister is then sharing it and who knows how many lives that are being affected as a result. Right. And at the same time, like, that she's not going to necessarily always tell me every time she's lifting me up every time she's she's sharing me so like exactly. that's something else to consider right which again when we look at expectations which are usually the things that are getting in our way um correct you know my expectation would be all of those great things you know that she is sharing with all of her you know friends and you know maybe other family members are the things that i wanted to hear right but understanding that whether I hear them or not, the support is still there Yeah. because of, you know, and, and what you're saying, you know, what she's doing with others is definitely support. So the support exists. Mm. Again, it goes back to that expectation. Well, you know, why, why don't I hear this? Why isn't it said to me? But also you go back to, well, not everything is about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, you know, so, so, so the other thing that I'm hearing is like, not only what you're, what you're talking about, but it's extension, right? If I'm being supportive of those people, then guess what? They then extend support to other people, whether it's me or mm -hmm. not, it doesn't really matter to me. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But like, again, the reach of support really can go very far if we're up, uplifting and supporting each other, because what we're really doing is giving away free information, right? Which mm. then they extend to other people by sharing that. And really it's in a way of being that we're extending the information, right? It's free, it's easy, you, you, you know, like you can't run out of it, right? It's just your, your, your mood, your attitude, your, there's no, it's an unlimited resource is what I'm trying to get at. And mm. the more that you give it, the more that other people will give it and you know it could have a far a really far reach oh uh, most definitely and, and it does go back to you know what we were saying earlier and and we've said in a couple recent podcasts now of that whole thing that you know we do receive when we give mm -hmm. so in in this case you know the when, when you are giving support to others there is a receiving back um, and, and the good that we receive back is that ability and, and that power to continue what we're doing 
and maybe even more. Yeah. You know, which, which then again, you, you get more back. So the more you're supporting, the more you're getting back. And, um, you know, it, it just really exponentially grows from there. Right. So, well, I mean, you know, and, the, I'm sorry. And think about oh, how no, many things ahead. that we really actually have those unlimited resources for. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like we, we think of money being our greatest resource and money's paper. It's metal and paper, right? Mm-hmm. Our greatest resources are the things that we can give away freely and never run out of, you know, information, love, you know, having fun with friends. I mean, like you ask anybody, yeah, it's great to have access to, you know, the best restaurants, the, the most grand travel places, you know, of course it's wonderful to have access to those things, but you know, if you don't have that first wonderful mental attitude then you're not going to achieve those heights. You know, you're not going to achieve those places with abundance in that way. You have to see the abundance that you have in this instant. You have unlimited access to everything, you know, and that's, that's what standing in the quantum field is like, you know? So anyway, that's another subject for another day, (laughs) but, but it just really does. It's like, gosh, it's just that extension of, of what we already are. Yep. Yeah. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, but so uh, I think when we look at this whole topic of support and what support means, uh, we do have to look at it from both sides. That you know, that there, there is the giver and the receiver, and and that the giver is is also receiving in the giving, mm. but the receiver has to keep in check their expectations before they're you know you start getting disappointed in life to say well nobody supports me right um because yeah they maybe it's just not in the way you wanted it expected it needed well, it whatever that may be have, i'm sorry you also have like we say words are very powerful right and if you're saying no one supports me then so be it there it is you know, you're not going to have people supporting me, supporting you if you're you're speaking that into existence into your life. That's just that's my belief. Yeah, totally agree on that. Yeah. Well, that was pretty awesome. I was trying to think of a uh, listener challenge, but it's not coming to me on this one. I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't know. Like, I, mean... I would think like it sounds pretty simple to me, like you know, one, figure out what support looks like to you. Right. Mm -hmm. And then go, go support other people that way and, and watch the support come back to you. Watch your belief on support and your ideas on support and the way that it looks change when you figure it out, you know, like, I mean, support to some people might just be a hand to hold a hug, you know, um, could be someone coming and taking out the trash and, you know, taking care of the kids mm-hmm. today while they just decompress, you know, I mean, like, trust me, I've been there too. I'm, I'm been a stay at home mom. And, you know, like that's sometimes what support looks like. Just do the dishes. That's all I want. Just, I don't want to do anything mm-hmm. else, you know, and, and then support can look like, you know, let's go have coffee together. Let's enjoy each other's company. Let's laugh for a little yeah. bit. Let's, you know, or an ear to listen to. Mm-hmm. You know, so, I mean, there's many different ways that we can support one another to, you know, to, to be our best selves, right? And to, to yes. provide that space to be our best selves. And so yep. that's what I would encourage everybody to do. Like, I mean, that's, that's my, my number one goal every day is to be the best me that I can be. And most days I would say I'm pretty on target. Some days, not so much, <laughs> you know, but the days that I'm not so much, those are the ones that I need the support. Mm-hmm. But even on those days at that moment, that's just the best self that you got. That's it. That's it. That's all I got to dish out here. So, you know, it, it, yeah, it may be flawed in multiple ways at that moment, but it's still the best you got at that moment, Yeah, you know, so and then you challenge that. yourself to make it better. Yeah, even that's expectation, right? That's yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, so exactly. It, it, come, it comes full circle there. 
awesome. well, that's why I use that word often in in life and with my clients. It's that that word and and uh, perspective are my two mm. favorite words that I, I think we need to constantly be focused on. Yeah. Um, because that those are the ones that I think are going to get us into the most anxiety and uh and then of course that's going to take us away from our peace and our happiness hey i ain't into that one that's awesome i have to remember those ones excellent all right well thanks well, this for was time. really good absolutely yes and uh you know thanks to all of the listeners and and again you know please like uh the videos the podcasts and share it <laughs> with others and um you know give us that uh support in the way that we expect it <laughs> yeah that's right that'd be awesome um but uh but yeah ho however you uh you know are are moved by you know what we say and you know support it in in that way that's best for you but also if there's any topics of interest that anybody has please let us know absolutely thank you guys all so much for listening have a great one.